I have worn many masks over the centuries. Dr. Augustine Lieber was renowned, professional and trusted. Frank Stone confided in me, allowed me to unlock his potential during those dark days in the psychiatric ward. And now, a new guise, a new timeline, a new chance. Giving them the camera, I admit, was unfair even for me. They couldn't know what power they held in their hands, nor what cruelty awaits them in the steel mill. But what true creator wouldn't suffer for their art? Are you okay? Uh, yeah. Guess I just dozed off a bit. Wait, what happened to Augustine again? She left. L left? She said she had to do something very urgently in her private reliquary. Hey, now that we're all awake again, can we forget about Augustine for a minute and talk about the a thousand foot long elephant in the room? Thousand, oh. Thousand feet is the average length of film in a movie? Oh. Guess we were all playing it close to the vest before, huh? It's not my film. I, I didn't, I just worked on it. Didn't direct it. It's not even on my official filmography. I meant how we were all holding back about our film strips. Oh, right. Whether you take credit for it or not, it's definitely the most infamous project that's uh, associated with you. Chris film collectors have been unsuccessfully searching for any trace of it for years. And now we are all here, each with our own little slice of a mysterious pie. It's a pretty big deal. So all of our film strips, they're part of this movie you and your friends made, Linda? If they're not fakes, yeah. Mine's not fake. And all that stuff you said about it being cursed? Murderous rages, CIA interrogation, total disassociation with reality. Because it's so rare, only a few people know for sure. So they say. If Augustine wants the only known surviving pieces of it, <laughs> she's gonna have to pay up. Why do you think she wants it so bad? I mean, it's not really cursed, right? I prefer not to dwell on the past. We're here, someone's offering to buy our sections of the film. That is all I'm concerned with right now. Providence goes a long way towards a successful sale. So do motives. I don't know about you, but I would very much like to know why Augustine is so desperate to get her hands on this film. Well, first rule of business is to gather every bit of intel you can on your opponent. And I don't know about you two ladies, but I have been itching to get a little look-see around this big old house of curiosities. <laughs> Are we allowed to look around? What do you say, Director? Want to keep sitting around or want to peek behind the curtain? <laughs> what are you waiting for? <laughs> Now, this is a real bold statement kind of room. You know what I mean? Huh. New Augustine got cash, but not like this kind of cash. Sounds like you didn't scout your mark as well as you thought. In business, we don't call them marks. Hustling is a rocket, not a business. I wouldn't underestimate my scouting skills. If 
I were you. But rattling around up here, that could be mutually beneficial. Why don't you tell me how you know so much about Murder Mill? I'm a big fan. It's your first credit. Cut the shit, man. Okay. You want to know the truth? When I first heard about it, I didn't believe it was real. But the more I looked into it, the more... As I found, and the further I followed the trail, the more fascinated I became. Not just in the film, but in the legend. Whether you meant to or not, you created a monster with this movie. Even if it isn't really cursed, the fact that everyone believes it is makes it real. Believing in something doesn't make it real. Well, that's why I had to find out for myself. It took me a couple years, but when the opportunity came for me to actually acquire a genuine piece of it, I, I jumped at the chance. And just how did you acquire it, exactly? Hey, uh, just catching up. So, what have you guys found? Not much. But the night's young. Not as young as you think. Let's keep looking around. Can't deny this place would make an incredible film location. <laughs> 